Hi Capricorn, welcome to your May 2020 reading. Thank you so much for watching. First of all, I want to say that I was tuning into your energy and decided to use a citrine crystal. This might indicate that blessings are coming to you. And what I was seeing is that you're going to have an experience in May that is coming from pleasure or a magical experience, something that is in the body and not in your mind because you know i know that you have a really strong mind you're really powerful but sometimes the body also speaks and the emotions also speak and there is this richness of, of pleasure that will affect you may is gonna be a good month for most of us it's considered to be uh, the time of twin flames and connection to nature uh, love, romance, not everybody is going to experience it, but there is going to be a uh, more loving uh, vibration around. Okay, let's see. Okay, Knight of Cups, this is really good. Uh, so you are experiencing in May loving texts. Uh, writing something with love, uh, expressing your love, feeling loved, maybe also doing something that is not typical of you. Some of you are wonderful writers, okay? So Capricorns, when you write poetry or um, just any kind of text, you write so beautifully and straight to the point and it's deep and it's sweet and it's, it's everything at the same time. So I highly recommend you to tune into that, especially now with spring. This is supporting your energy. And it's also time for you to let other people know that you do love them and you care for them too, because the people around you want to hear that from you. Okay, Three of Pentacles. This is your card, by the way. I don't know if you're working right now, if you stopped working, or if you are working from home, but in May, there is a, a feeling of doing something together again, something you're good at. Um, you're working with other people, um, and this is bringing back your power to you. So this is also something you're very talented at, and you're appreciated. This is also a Mars kind of energy, and this is a little bit of a, the warrior quality in you. So you're feeling more um, capable and inspired in May. In May, I feel you yourself, your energy is a more inviting energy and you're loosened, you're loosened up. Okay, very nice. The devil is uh, something you're exiting. The feeling of maybe addiction or some sort of relationship that was not healthy for you, you're leaving it behind in May and you're going to something that is more healing. This is an energy you're releasing, okay? The devil has taught you its lesson and it may be in, in the hard way. Leave it behind whatever thing that was weighing you down it's not right for you, okay? You know by the way you feel if something is right or wrong. And um, it's not gonna be so easy to let it go. Let's say you were used to partying, you're, you were used to connect it to people that were partying, you were used to connect to um, maybe lovers that had a darker side. Uh, so this is, it's challenging, you know, sometimes it's, it's easier to fall into something that you're used to, um, some sort of habit, some, you know, guilty pleasure that, oh, okay, maybe that will be okay just once, but May gives this powerful love that coming to you. It could come to you from an external, uh, person, somebody, uh, maybe in your job or p a person you worked with that really appreciates you and sh like showers you with love and you're so elevated that you're feeling okay I can release this energy even if it's hard because I want to connect to that place of love all the time I want to connect to it in work 
I want to connect to it with my lover. I want to connect to it with my children. Everything I do, I want to feel that elevated love because, you know, feeling down and that's not for me. I, I want to leave that dark place, a horrible place. And I know that I can be a great leader and a great communicator. And I have so many talents in me that I can give to the world. Okay, let's see how May unfolds. Okay, like I said, there is something, you're getting into spirituality deep in May. Something in your dreams, something in uh, what you're reading, maybe the conversations you have, something that you're writing, movies that you watch, uh, photos, some, something makes your interest deep in spirituality. You know, traditionally, you are one of the most spiritual signs and the most powerful spiritual i think you're coming back to that space because you have a great control over everything you can control your emotion you can control your actions you're very focused and i feel that when you also focus on spirituality or getting into understanding the symbol understanding the dream realm it's gonna be very powerful for you you're gonna get a message you're gonna get somebody telling you something or a dream or some sort of coincidence that is like oh my god this is part of my soul this is like sent from heaven to me and this is gonna ignite a fire in you that is connected to your soul's mission it was it's connected to what you you came here to do on this earth and it will come to you through a spiritual experience because i also see the high priestess here combined with the knight of swords it's gonna be a fast understanding a very fiery understanding so the knight of swords is also like a, a little bit of a gemini energy so it could be through a quick communication like poof like an understanding and um the ace of wands is connected to you know something that you feel you have to do okay towards the end of the month we see the five of wands with a page of cups so like i said i mean yeah you're gonna get that hit of information that you can't deny it you can't deny that feeling you can't deny that coincidence the synchronicity something about it will be like incredible but i do see some sort of struggle because i see the five of wands and the seven of wands so there is um there is a feeling of getting out of the situation is is not easy you know making a change is not always easy and it not always moves as smoothly as we want but we have to push it the five of wands is a leo card it's supporting you in that it's under the sun there is a supportive feeling of that struggle yes it's a hard struggle but it has a really good cause and like i said the feeling of love is what pulls you maybe you're also getting like telepathical messages about love there's this loving loving energy from the universe to you and supportive of that change you're doing that shift you're moving towards okay i'm gonna pull a divine feminine oracle card for you so definitely this will be a month of magic for you i know you are sort of magician already it's gonna be amazing there's gonna be a lot of unexpected things that will show you like how incredible the world is and how many hints there are also in the world for you the world is hinting you but <laughs> in may it's gonna really be not only hinting but like placing it in your lap Okay, we got Fatima for you. She's also dressed in white, showing me of some purity of what you're experiencing. The mother of Imas. Love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion. So I do see you understanding that love, there is so much love around you. There is so much love. I do see you having a wonderful time with your partner too. A wonderful time with the universe, pouring love on you and you're gonna get like an understanding of your mission. It's gonna be amazing. Good luck with everything. <laughs> Bye.